A lot of people have problems with the uh, motor on their X2 mini mill, uh, this guy, running hot. There's the X2 that it fits on normally. You can see I've uh, taken it apart and I'm trying something to get it up and working again. So here's what I've done. Got a new fan on here. The uh, old fan, I'd show it to you, but I kind of destroyed it taking it off. But the old fan is just a piece of uh, stamped sheet metal with nine pretty much straight blades on them. Doesn't flow air very well. In fact, uh, when running the, the motor, you really can't even feel air moving out of the exhaust vents. So this is an 80 millimeter fan from a computer. I have uh, pulled it off of the motor and basically just gotten the fan blades off and I have trimmed the edges down. Uh, the way I did that was mounting it on my mini lathe and using a file to just file the blades down. It was dusty work but it eventually got it done. I made an aluminum adapter to press in there. You can see there's the black plastic of the fan, then there's a uh, rin ring of uh, sheet metal. That sheet metal is original to the fan. Uh, now this was just a $10 80 millimeter fan from Best Buy. Pretty easy to find. Then you've got the larger piece of aluminum in there. That is the adapter I made that presses into the fan and then presses onto this gold colored piece which was part of the original fan assembly. I. Uh, the stamped sheet metal fan was pressed onto that. I've pressed my part on instead. So, there we have it. Uh, you can see just above the fan is the groove where the uh, snap ring goes on, and the bearing will sit just forward of that. And then there's the end of the shaft. So, you're probably wondering, how did that work out? And let me show you uh, how the final install is. First we're going to demonstrate concentricity here. No tail stock. That moaning sound you hear is my lathe spindle bearings which are in need of replacement. But you can see the fan is running quite true. I can't see any visible run out and it should get the job done. Another advantage this fan will have over the stock one is that the stock one was about 60 millimeters across. This one is 70, so it's going to more fully uh, fill up the uh, empty space inside the motor. I think the biggest problem with the old fan was that the uh, air would circulate through the blades and then back around the outside, through and around, and so on. So this ought to fix that. Right, so the motor is hooked up to the mill and working as it should. I had a little trouble, it wouldn't start at first. Turns out I had put the cap on, rotated 90 degrees to the body, which means the motor just stalls and you get a fault light on the control box. So anyway, with it set up, let me show you what we've got. That is one third speed. And I'm going to see if I can demonstrate just how much air is already moving through this motor. To do that, I'm going to turn it sideways so you can see the exhaust. And I'm going to give you a little bit of fire and smoke here. Now, to be clear, the motor is actually blowing the fire out. That's a major improvement over stock. And we're only running one third of full speed here. Let's up it a bit. I need to find out if this motor can take full speed. That's two thirds and it's actually knocking the ash off of the burning paper. All right, one last test. Put the fire out here. And then let's go to full speed. All right. Running at full speed right now. And there is just a jet of air coming out the back. Let me see if I can light this paper one more time to show you.
Will the lighter stay lit? No. So I think that takes care of any uh, motor heat issues I should have. As long as the fan holds together, I'll be good. <laughs>